Hello, Tom Ellis with the BizDoc here with a quick stat and a quick analysis, a quick hit for you. So you ask questions, I give answers. People were asking, where is marijuana legal, not legal? In the middle of this election in 2024, there's a lot of discussion about legalization of cannabis, you know, partial legalization, full legalization. What is it all about? Well, I've added an intro. The economy sucks, I got laid off. Where is marijuana legal, not legal? So a little bit of tongue in cheek there, but it is a reality here in 2024 with the economy. But what we're gonna focus on is your question about what is going on in the United States? It's so different state to state. Where can I drive for spring break, not drive for spring break? What is it? Well, we're gonna look at that. Here we have the map right here. Okay, and here's the colors. The light blue is that cannabis oil and low THC is available. The red is fully illegal. The blue is medically legal, like when people have glaucoma or cancer treatment. Some people said that a couple hits of not getting baked all day listening to Bob Marley tapes, but a couple hits would alleviate the pain from glaucoma and the pressure that's in their eyes, as well as pain from chemotherapy. And then there's fully legal. So you start with the fully legal is the dark blue. And of course, those are blue states and that's where it all started. And then you have the fully illegal. Let's go on those two sides. So fully illegal is both Carolinas and then Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming, and Idaho. You know, I showed some people on the map and they said that was Colorado. Well, they're both rectangles, but you need to take a geography lesson. That is Colorado. And it was one of the first places where it was fully legal. So there's the fully legal illegal. So basically we're coming to a time in America where it is going to be fully legal in all states, but it's steps. Well, what, where do you go from in between? Well, you go to medically legal, and it's these states here. Whereas if you have a prescription or you manage to wink, wink, go to one of those places, it'll give you a quick prescription for whatever, and now you can get prescriptions for stress, you know, depression and things like that and away you go and you'd be legal. And then you've got the cannabis oil states, which is Texas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Georgia, where derivatives and low THC cannabis oil is available. So you can see that it's a wave slowly coming across the United States toward full legal or at least medically legal st status. Because these states, there are uh, things on the ballots where they want at least the cannabis oil to be legal or medically legal. And once it's medically legal versus fully legal, basically it's all legal because you have places where people are getting prescriptions again for depression not just things like that are real medical situations like chemotherapy and glaucoma. But that is the story of America, where it's legal or not legal. So if you've lost your job, it's probably best to lose your job in one of the dark blue states so you can go for the weekend, maybe get a quick buzz with some Bob Marley tapes. But that's the story of marijuana legality this election season. I'm Tom Mills with the BizDoc. See you next time.